here today with my February favorites and I, and I just want to tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys that watch my videos. I know that I have totally slacked on responding to comments so I'm trying to get better at responding to comments and being more connected with my subscribers because I know in the past I used to be really, really um, involved and just interacting a lot with you guys and then I kind of like fell off the face of the earth as far as interacting and responding to comments and I just want to let you guys know that that is important to me and I'm sorry if it didn't um, come across that way because obviously I have definitely slacked in the commenting back and just being connected with you guys and I really really miss that so I'm wanting to be more involved connected with you guys and responding more so I just wanted to let you guys know thank you so much for sticking with me and watching my videos and being a part of my channel and it really does mean a lot to me and yeah I just want to let you guys know that I am really excited to kind of get back into YouTube and I think I've been a little bit discouraged lately because um, I know my views have been a lot lower than they have in the past and I'm like wondering how my channel is growing but my views are low and I don't really have an answer for that and one thing that I know that I have definitely changed is um, my interaction with my subscribers and so I think for me it's really easy if I feel like something is failing or isn't doing well um, it's easy for me to run from it because I'm like ah, I don't want to be like poured into this thing and then have it not work out so um, this is just me being super honest and vulnerable with you guys and kind of let you know like where my head has been and so I want to apologize to my subscribers who have been like with me and they comment on all, all the videos and stuff I want to let you know that I'm working really hard to get back into being more involved and connected and interacting with you guys a lot more I think that because like my channel isn't growing at the rate that I've wanted it to or my views aren't where I want them to be I kind of have felt like why am I doing YouTube and so it's been this like weird crazy cycle of trying to figure out like what is my purpose and I haven't been able to give up doing YouTube because I just feel like I'm supposed to be doing this and um, I've had a lot of people really encourage me in the beauty channel and then in my personal channel that I'm trying to start that I'm just not even sure where to start with that but yeah I just want to be really open and real with you guys and let you know kind of like where my head and heart has been in YouTube land and I feel like I got the space to film better quality videos and I like got features for better editing and I got a microphone to try to help with like echoing and I feel like I've poured in a lot to try to improve the quality of my videos um, and I haven't seen it pay off as far as like views and that kind of stuff. So um, I've just been really, really discouraged in the whole YouTube world. And honestly, like this is what I love doing. It's what I want to do uh, with only having Ethan half of the week. Like it's so important to me to be able to like not work on the days that I have him because I already feel like I don't get very much time with him as it is. And so to be able to have a job where I can work on the days I don't have him, work while he's in school and be super present in his life is super important to me. So obviously my goal is like if I could keep doing YouTube and have this um, be my job, my career and be able to like really pour into my son on the days I have him, that's, that's obviously my goal. So um, I'm working on how to have better content. If you guys have any suggestions on um, content or things you would like me to improve like I am totally open to um, constructive criticism please be polite about it um, I'm really being super vulnerable and honest with you guys obviously talking about me feeling like my channel is failing um, is not like an easy thing to admit it's not something that's easy to talk about but I want to share that with you guys because I feel like I've always been super open and honest about my life and like my struggles and things that are going on so um, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them if you have feedback. Um, I just don't know why the views are so low. And if it's like a quality thing, a content thing, like those are things I could definitely improve on. So um, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Thank you again for like sticking with me. 
Um, like I said, tomorrow is my birthday. I will be 29. It's my last year in my 20s, which has a very odd feeling to it. Uh, turning 30 next year just feels so weird. So I'm wanting to make this like a really great year. I have really high goals for this channel, um, for personal stuff in my life. And so I just wanted to let you guys into that and kind of share with you a little bit of like my heart and my feeling behind this channel in the last probably year or so. But that was like my little update. Uh, I hope that wasn't like a downer. I just wanted to be super open with you guys about how I've been feeling regarding my YouTube channel. And I wanna invite you guys into the process of helping me grow this channel and um, improving things and putting up videos you guys wanna see or um, hearing your guys' suggestions of what you guys feel like I could do better. So I hope that is uh, makes sense. But anyways, I'm gonna get into my favorites. All right, so the first is the Nivea After Shave or Post Shave Balm. It is meant for men, it's in the men's section. I've actually poured some into this little uh, up and up travel bottle because I didn't wanna carry the huge thing of it because it is kind of heavy and there is a lot of product in there. So I just deposited some into this little container. Um, you can get these at Target in the travel section. But I absolutely love this. It has a little bit of a tacky, uh, like feel to it, so it really makes your makeup adhere to your skin. I got the sensitive one, I think there's two or three different types, it's like $8 or $7 for a big thing of it. So if you're wanting a primer that's good for sensitive skin, it does have a little bit of a men's smell to it, but it really goes away, I don't know, within 30 seconds or so, putting it on your face, it doesn't linger, you don't keep smelling it throughout the day. But this is a great job of really making your makeup adhere to your face, uh, the nice tacky base to it just like makes your foundation just stick and it just blends everything blends really easily over it So I've absolutely been loving this and it was probably almost full when I filled this up And I have just a little bit left in there, but highly recommend the Nivea post shave balm Next is a foundation combination that I'm adoring so I have a ton of foundations that are super dark from my summer shades. I used to self tan all the time. I haven't really done it very much lately. Uh, so I have a ton of foundations that are way too dark. So one of them is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is in the shade N3 Natural Buff. And I used to not like this foundation. I used to have very oily skin. I don't know, I guess it's maybe hormonally or something. My skin has changed. I don't know if it has to do with um, you know, hormones or, or what it is, but my hormones have changed. My skin is totally different. I used to be very, very dry. Then after I had my son, it turned very oily and now I'm very normal. So I'm not like overly dry or overly oily. Uh, but these two together are amazing. So I can wear the L'Oreal True Match Lumi on its own, but the shade is just too dark. But the foundation itself I could wear on its own. When I was self tanning a few weeks ago, I could wear this by itself and the color match was perfect. Now the Tint Couture Balm by Givenchy, I have mine in the shade 3 Nude Sand, is very light, so it's like a perfect, almost perfect skin match for me right now. It's a tad bit light and a little bit pink on me, but the thing that I love is this foundation mixes well with every foundation. So whether I need to lighten up a foundation like I do with this, I mix these two together, or mix this with another foundation that um, is a perfect shade match, this is just a perfect foundation for by itself if you want something very natural, uh, just blurs your imperfections, your skin looks beautiful, so you can wear it on its own, which I love doing, or I can mix it and it mixes well with every foundation and it makes every foundation just like magically perfect. I don't know what it is. I'm almost out of this. I'm so bummed because it is a pricier foundation, but it lasts on the skin really beautifully. It mixes well with other foundations. It looks so beautiful. And so I've been wearing this on its own, mixing it with this one. Um, I really do love this combination though. This is a little bit more of a liquidy foundation and very luminous. This is more of a natural finish very creamy foundation. So between the two, it's like the perfect coverage, the perfect finish, it lasts all day and looks gorgeous. So these two are amazing on their own, but they're even better together. Next, there's two bronzers that I've been using. One I used the first half of the month, the other one I used the second half of the month, and you will have seen this in a haul that is going up um, tomorrow, which is my birthday. So my haul's gonna go up on my birthday. You'll have seen this but these two bronzers I've been loving. So I pulled out the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. This is an oldie but goodie. I haven't used this in so long, so I decided to pull it out because I just wasn't loving 
whatever bronzer I was currently using. And this is a fantastic bronzer if you wanna bronze up your face, but it's also perfect for contouring. It's a little bit more of a cooler toned bronzer rather than a really warm bronzer. And it just gives you like the perfect contour. I attempted to contour my nose today, which I never do, uh, but this is great for that. I don't know if it's looking great on camera. It looks fine in the mirror, but um, it's fantastic for contouring. You can use this as an eyeshadow and it just blends beautifully. And I keep forgetting how great this is, but this month I have been using this nonstop. And then towards the end of the month, I purchased the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze Fusion. I got mine in the shade 15i and this is perfect for fair skin. I know one of the more popular colors is like 25 or 30i, but this one is great for me. It blends so nicely into the skin and it's just a very natural bronzer. It is a little bit of a, um, it's definitely on the cooler side as far as like a warm, cool bronzer, but it's not overly cool. So you can definitely use this to bronze. You can definitely use it for contouring. I'm gonna swatch the Hoola Benefit one next to it, which you'll be able to see that one's just, they're actually quite similar. Hoola just seems like a tad bit lighter. Hoola is a matte and the Pro Fusion in the eye is the iridescent, so it gives a kind of beautiful glow to your skin as well. But they both work really, really well for fair skin. I know people with deeper skin that use Hoola all the time, but I absolutely love these two. A matte bronzer, this one's a sheen bronzer, but I use this just like I would to contour, and it's very natural looking. It's not shimmery, it's not overly glowy, and it just works really well. So these two bronzers have been like my go-to bronzers for the month of February. All right, next we're gonna move into probably my favorite highlight of life. I'm not even exaggerating. This is also, you'll have seen this in the haul, um, but I've had this for probably about two weeks, so the last half of February. This is the Burberry Nude Glow 02 Highlighting Palette. They're spring, summer 2016. So you need this if you don't have it. It's a bit of a splurge, but you won't regret it. So it has this really pretty embossing, which I don't even know if you're gonna be able to really see it anymore. It's the highlight that I have on, and it's literally, I use like a little fan brush or like the MAC highlighting brush that I love so much, and I like just go and I go like this really quick, and it's like instant, bam, instant, beautiful highlight. It's not overly gold. It's not like too champagne-y. To me, it's like the perfect, um, just the perfect color. It's not, I don't know if you can see the reflection there, but it's so beautiful. It's not too gold, so fair skin can wear it. It's not too silver, so deep skin can wear it. It's not too pink, it's not too beige. It's like the perfect highlight color ever. And I absolutely adore it. I'm like so tempted to buy a backup of it because it is the most beautiful, non-glittery, non-sparkly, makes your cheeks almost look glowy and wet which I love that look. So this is gonna be so great for the spring and summer and all year round, but I'm absolutely adoring this. I highly, highly, highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it. I got mine at Sephora. Um, I know Nordstrom's had it too. They had a white color as well, but that one's been sold out. But this nude gold color is like absolutely amazing. I love it. Okay, so I've really only worn for the past two weeks at home. I have some makeup at home. And I brought these, and these are like literally all that I've been wearing. And it's my warm tone palette from MAC and my highlight and cool tone palette from MAC. Today, I'm only wearing MAC shadows. It's really the majority of the eyeshadows I've been wearing. And it's mainly this top half here. If you wanna see a video where I show what colors are in my palettes, like let me know, comment down below or thumbs up this video. I'd be more than happy to do that. I've been wearing Samoa Silk, which is this color right here in the crease. It's kind of like the best friend transition color. Then I'll mix like a little bit of soft brown into the crease onto the lid. And then I'll take texture or saddle and I blend those on the lid, which is what I have on today. I've been wearing Deep Dams in a lot. Um, and I think, I don't know which these ones are. Some of these are limited edition ones. But if you want to see a um, what shadows I have in here, let me know. I would love to do, show you kind of how I organize my MAC palettes. Um, the other color that I've been wearing a lot is Woodwinked, which is this color right here, and it's a really beautiful, um, I don't know, kind of golden, antique golden color. It has a little bit of like a bronze sheen, but that's so beautiful all over the eyes. I just really gravitate towards these bronzy colors as like the weather starts getting a little bit warmer, 
and I just think that the bronze colors complement my hair very well, which sounds weird, but it's true. And they're just some of my favorite colors to wear. So this is my warm palette. Again, if you want a uh, video on what shadows are in there, let me know. Okay, and then here are my cool tone and my highlight palette. And I've been wearing a lot of, um, this one is Hoax, this one's Cory, and this one is Bamboo. I've been wearing those quite often. I really love them. And then I've also been wearing a lot of rice paper, which is this light yellowy golden color and it's so beautiful all over the lid or as a highlight in your inner corner and then over on this side I have been loving gesso or gesso um, in the inner corner it's just a stark white and then I have like blanc type and vapor and I've kind of been playing with those as well for brow bone highlights so if, again if you want to see this a brow product that I've been loving these new Anastasia brow definers are amazing I have a combination of taupe, which is this one right here. I use this kind of on the inner part of my brows and then I use medium brown or chocolate on kind of the tail end of it to deepen it up a little bit. And they're just so easy to use. They just blend effortlessly. It does have a spoolie on the other side. And I just love the shape of this. Like I have used so much. This is all that is left of this product and it's just really good. But that a lot of you guys asked in the comments um, on my video that I put up my get ready with me video if the end like keeps its shape and it totally does. It does keep its shape and it's just very, very easy to work with. So I highly recommend these if you're looking for a good brow pencil. These are fantastic. A lip balm that I'm absolutely adoring. I have two lip products, but one of them is at home. It's the Fresh Lip Serum. That thing just like rejuvenates and fixes my lips. I have had the most chapped dry lips and no matter what I do, exfoliate anything, nothing worked. And for three nights I wore the Fresh Lip Serum, I had some samples of it, um, the Lip Serum from Fresh and it seriously just fixed my lips like in two days. It was amazing. And so I just purchased the full size off of Sephora. I just had samples so I don't have that to show you but I'm loving that. And then on a day to day basis like during the day, I'm loving the Jack Black um, lip balms. This is the Shea Butter and Vitamin E. It has SPF 25, which is fantastic. So if you're outdoors a lot, this is a great one for the summertime. It's super easy to apply. Your lips just stay very hydrated and it has the SPF 25 protection, which is great. I'm leaving for Hawaii in a month and I'm definitely taking this and it's going to be on my lips all the time. I also like this because um, it's a squeezy tube and it has the little like slanted tip and you just put it on your lips. It's very, very easy. I've gotten Ted, my boyfriend, addicted to this. Ethan enjoys putting this on and doesn't freak out. I really love this lip balm. So if you're looking for a new one that's just easy to throw in your purse, this is a great one for day to day. If you want something very hydrating for an overnight treatment, the Fresh Lip Serum is amazing. And I'll link that down below as well. Okay, lip products. I have a few. One of them I don't have with me, but it is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Lumiere. I just can't stop wearing it. I literally have maybe this much left of it. I have a little tiny nub of it. The other one I'm loving is the new one in Dopey. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit more pink. It is the perfect color. I absolutely adore this. I love their lip pencils. They're my favorite lip pencils out of any brand ever. And I really love this Dopey color. It's from their new line that just came out with the um, satin what are they called? The satin, ultra satin lips. So I have two colors. One is an ultra satin lip, one is a matte. I've been wearing this in a lot of videos, a lot of Instagram posts, and everyone always asks what's on my lips. It is usually Lumiere 1 or Lumiere pencil with the Lumiere 2 ultra matte, or it has been the dopey lip pencil with the Lumiere 2 ultra matte or the dopey satin. Man, that was confusing. Anywho, it's usually like one of these products. So this is Lumiere 2. This is their um, matte. It is the most beautiful color. I mean, this color just is everything to me. I absolutely love it. It looks great with everything. It's super easy. This formula, for some reason, feels so much different and less drying than their other matte ones, but the Lumiere 2 is absolutely stunning. I can't get enough of it. 
and then Dopey, which is their Ultra Satin Lip, which I love these. If you wanna see a lip swatch video where I swatch all of these, comment down below, thumbs up this video, and I will do that. I know there's a lot out, so I didn't know if you guys wanted to see that, but if you do, let me know, and I will film it. But this is Dopey. These are a lot more moussey feeling versus like liquidy feeling like the matte ones are. So Dopey is very similar to Lumiere, just a tad bit lighter and a little less mauve. So this one's a little bit deeper, a little bit more mauve and then this one is just a little bit lighter and pinky. It's absolutely beautiful on the lips. These satin ones feel amazing. I have zero complaints with them. They're easy to apply. They feel great on the lips. They're not drying, they're comfortable, and they do last a really long time. So loving those. And then the last one I have is actually what's on my lips right now, and this is the Julep Matte Lip Mousse. And I purchased a couple more of these. You'll have already seen that in the haul that I posted on my oh, birthday. This is in the color Ooh La La. It is the most perfect color. Um, I will link my Julep unboxing video if you missed it, because but this color, this color is Ooh La La, and it's seriously, oh, it's so pretty. This one is a lighter, they're all kind of like in the same family, but this is like the lightest of them. It's a little bit more nude, a little bit more neutral, mauve versus like a pink, and this one's a little bit more of a deeper mauve, but you know, it's, you know, 50 shades of mauve up in here, so really love this this is another formula it's so comfortable i purchased two other colors of this it glides on so easily and it's got this really cool hourglass applicator it smells slightly of like buttercream or chocolate or something like that and honestly feels so fantastic on the lips all right guys so that is my february favorites i hope you guys enjoyed Thank you again so much for being subscribed to my channel, for watching my videos, and I just really appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love you. If you have any requests for videos or any feedback, please let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!